workshop. Right. So today I'm going to teach you geography. Right. And I'm going to check your phone in your bag. <laughs> and say, keep quiet. But today I will be your uh, psychologist to teach you about your career plan. Help you in your career plan. So I can see in your face, you're all excited, right? No. After grade 12? No. <laughs> you will be in university. You will say goodbye to Asia. You will say goodbye to your teacher. Right? And we're happy seeing you be successful in your own career. But first, you need to plan your career, right? <laughs> so what are we learning today? Today we will learn the following. Understand career planning. How do you, how do you plan your career? Determine your personal and career interests. I gave the test that. It's what we call Holland test. To see what fits your personality and your career. Understand the simple term and trends of the new world market. Now, let's start now. What do you know about the world of work? Can you see yourself now in the future? That I'm wearing a necktie, or I'll be in the farm, I'll be in the airplane, I love. Can you see yourself in the future? Or you'll be in a blogger, blogger work? Blog. Okay. Now, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's never too early to start thinking about. And what are you doing? Think us, remember when you're young, right? When we are young, we always ask you, even me, what do you want when you grow up? Right? I would ask my son. What do you, when you're young, even now, what do you want when you grow up? I want to be? What do you want to be? Business, right? Businessman, right? Chef. Chef. He wants to be a chef, and he likes eating, right? So, what does it mean, right? When you're young, we always have, right, a thinking, especially when you're young, remember? When you're young, you always say, what do you want to be in the future? You say, I want to be a doctor, right? Every one of us, I know, I want to be a doctor. But right now, anyone wants to be a doctor here? No. No one. <laughs> it's getting yeah. on now. Yeah. How yeah. Yeah. It is, right? Okay. Now, Look at here, right? Look at here. Okay, assess yourself. Assess yourself about your skills. What do I like doing? What are activities that I don't like? Think of it, okay? What do you want to do doing in class? Right? Beside computer games. Huh? What else? What are my interests? Okay, what am I good at? Okay, what bottles are important to me and what are my talents? What am I good at doing? What are your special skills? Ask yourself. Because that will be related to your career. It's your career. Right. What's your interest? I will ask someone here. Okay, Miss. What's your interest? What do you like most of the time doing? I like to You like to sleep. Alright. Okay, now well, think of a career related to sleep. <laughs> and it'll pay you more. But what else? Alright, how about you? What's your interest? Sitting where? Sitting and sleeping. Okay, class. <laughs> now, right. Sitting and sleeping. Now look at your goal. Okay, let's relate your sitting and sleeping. Right. Where are your goals? What are your goals? So maybe if you're sleeping, you can think of a goal related to sleeping. What kind of jobs are available, especially in Vietnam class? What is the number one jobs in Vietnam? May I know? Do you know any? Number one job in Vietnam. You should be. Office work? Right. Usually, 
nursing, nursing, right? After class, he will run, going to the shop, playing video games. But right now, he is now the main uh, gamer of uh, LM. LM, or LM. Yeah. Okay, online game. And he received a huge amount of money. And he won this year. Philippine won the, the online gamer and received a lot of money. And the job store can be different now, the way we expect. So, next one. Now set your goals for yourself, okay? What are the kinds of jobs that you can do? Right? What are the jobs? Right now, you're going to university. Right? So don't waste your money. Right? Go to university without any understanding of what are you doing. Right? What I'm doing here, I don't know. I just want to finish my degree. That's not correct. Right? Find out what can be your degree. Find out college courses that you need to take. Where are you going to, to go? In here or in abroad? So you should know what is the possible university you have. Right, now let's have your step. Learn about yourself. Are you learning now about yourself? Learn about your career and make a plan. Now this will be your career plan. Where are you now? Already done in a career. High school, finish right now. And your next is your college and your vocational work and your workplace. <coughs> so you see your transition, right? You see where you're at. Okay, after high school, what's happening? Here is high school, right? You enjoy your group, you're happy with your class, you're doing some uh, different things, having fun. Okay, but after school, what will happen to you? You go to college, of course, and you can get a better job. And there are some jobs available to high school graduates, but there are more jobs when you graduate. I didn't say, okay, I will just finish high school, that's all. Right, but class, there are more opportunities when you finish university. Right, now let us define those four. There are four different uh, related to career. Okay, that's a task, job, career, and occupation. I will give myself as my example. I am a teacher, so that's my job. Position that you fulfill each day. So I'm a teacher for 10 years now in Vietnam, and 8 years now, 8 years then in the Philippines. What's my task? My task is you. I have to accomplish each day that I'm going to my job. So my task is to teach a student, right? That's my job. And what's my career? The progression of job will be your growth in all your occupation. By the way, class, I finished Bachelor of Science in Psychology in the Philippines. And I promised myself I will not be a teacher anymore. Why? Because our whole family, we're all teachers. And I can see them every day with big bags, checking papers. I hate it. But class, you know what happened, right? I apply a job in one university. They say, oh, we don't need psychology. We need psychologists, but we need a teacher in psychology. So that makes the history, right? So I start teaching, I enjoy teaching, and then progression. I moved to Vietnam through my former student who's working here. And to make the story short, I'm a teacher now. Right? So that's your career. You don't know what at least you are in your career plan. In occupation, what's my job here? I'm in school, the industry. So that's the definition of those words. So don't be confused with those things. Right? Okay, where and how do I start? Let's start now. Okay, so these are the wrong questions. If you're going to have a job, these are the wrong questions. What jobs are in demand? What are the most high paying jobs? So if you ask already your salary and your first job, so it's a big problem, right? They work first before asking for salary. Okay? What can I do abroad? Okay, what about high salary class? What job for a minimal effort? I don't want to work more. I just want to have high salary. Is it possible? Okay, I just want to sit down in a whole day and then receive pay at the end of the month. As you go? No, you're so lucky, right? Because you need effort, right? How about the jobs as short as hours? I only want to work three hours. After that, I will go home and then have my Facebook. Okay, is there any job like that? No. Right, career that can be promoted faster. One month, I want to be a senior, senior officer. Impossible. Right? And what jobs are expanding to do? 
So these are the question masks that should not ask. And you will not have a good answer for that. Okay, yes, please. Okay, now this is the right question to ask. I know in the future you're thinking, okay, about your career. So this is a good question. What will make me happy? Right? I receive a minimal pay, but I'm happy in this uh, work. So I'll, I'll be enjoying it. What are you passionate about? Right? Besides DP, besides CP, what are you passionate about? What I dream of doing, what I really want to do. Right? What you really want to do. And let's start with finding who you are. Okay, now have your paper now. Right? Right? So uh, we will assess your score. Okay, based on that, Holland, we call it Holland's theory. Holland is a psychologist also. So he found out that people needing help me with career decisions can be supported by understanding or acceptance to following six ideal educational personality. So there's six, right, six categories of your personality. And that fits, might fit your job in the future. Right? So don't get any job that you don't enjoy. You feel bored about it, you hate it, right? So from this time, you should know what possible job or career will you have, right? Now, let's have six realistic. Who's high in realistic? Check your score. Realistic. Next, investigative. Who's high? Having high school there. Artistic. Social, enterprising, and conventional. Look at your score. You still got your score already? Right? Okay. Well, wow, 18. You're very high in social. Good. Social. What else? Okay. You're much higher. Yeah. We are social also. Right. Let's find out your result. You got your score, right? Okay. Next picture. Right. So check your personality here. Go on. Right. Your personality should fit your career choice. Holland, according to Holland, it should fit so that you will uh, enjoy it. Knowing your personality will help you understand better yourself and will help you in interacting with others. That will help you to decide what career or what university will you get into. Next teacher. Okay, go on. So this is your test. We you finished that, right? Right, let's start with realistic. Raise your hand if you got high score, realistic. Anyone don't be shy? You not be punished. It's the guy and I So what is that? Realistic? Oh, it's that Uh any the, any of those with high score. Anyone who got high in realistic? Anyone? High in realistic Rita? High in realistic. Who else? High in realistic? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it's pretty forcing you, you didn't answer your amendment. Right, okay, so when you are in realistic class, you are mechanical. Right, mechanical means you like working with electrical, mechanical, equipment, right? So what are the possible jobs you can be? You can be engineer, mechanical, right, be good. Architect, forester, pilot, military officer. I don't know what fish you be more than. And that's the art teacher. So no one here? No one got high in realistic? Or are you just trying to know it? Okay, now follow, let's find another one. Okay, investigative. Who's high score in here? Very good. Investigative. What's yours? <laughs> investigative. Then it means you 
can go on with those possible jobs related. Right. Who else? What's yours? Okay, what is an artist do? Who else? Artistic. Miss, what's yours? Okay, total your score, total. Okay, E, what's yours? Five. No, no. No, no. social. Right. So what are those artistic? So these are those uh, are creative, what else? You like painting, designing, fashion designers are in here. Yeah, we have English teacher, musician, interpreter, music, musician, public relation, writer, and reporter. So everything that is related to art, why is that you, right? Artistic? Okay. You might go on with this kind of career. Artistic. Yeah. Okay. I think many of you are social. Raise your hand. Social. Social. Right. So most of you are social. Yeah. Social. Right. So what are the social part? You like service oriented. You like dealing with people. Right. So you like teaching. I call it this one. Helping and counseling. So what are your job prospect? You can be counselor. Get the social director, teacher, nurse. Nurse is always with people. Okay? Therapist, vocational leader, and educational administrator. Right. Enterprising. Enterprising, good in business. Who's in business here? B, what's yours? Highest. Uh, uh, in <laughs> investigate. Right. Who's enterprising? Anyone? So you are good in business class, business oriented. You like selling, persuading, right? And what are your job prospect? You can be manager, right? Salesperson, broker, contractor, insurance, and the administration. So anything related to business will be in this uh, job. Next, please. Okay, conventional. Raise your hand. Who's high conventional? Anyone? So these are the people who are highly organized. You're good in filing paper, you're good in scheduling, right? Who are those? Accountant. You'll be accountant. Next, banker, teacher, business teacher, clerk, secretary, reader, and credit manager. So if you be in this one, more or less you'll be in conventional. Right. Next please, teacher. Right. So, class. Okay, this is your test. Does this test helps you to identify your skills? Okay, I have a question. Does it help you to identify yourself, this test? Yes or no? Does it help you? So initially, you know, at least you know that you have your personality that fits with your career. So this is only to guide you so that when you're choosing your university, you know where to go, right? You know where to go. That fits your personality. Right, now, class, take note of this. I hope you have these skills while you're in school, right? While you're submitting your requirements for all your teachers, you will learn all the skills in school that you need to apply in your workplace. What are those? Communication skills. So when you're hiring, when the company hires, hires you, you should have that kind of skills. Problem solving skills, responsibility. Simple task in class, you can follow. What's your responsibility there? Submit one piece of paper with your reaction today. What happened? No one submitted, and then no score. Responsibility class. Right. Eagerness to learn. You don't want to be always skip in class to learn. Right? Creative thinking, people skills. How do you deal with your classmates? Personal skills, self-management, and technical skills. So I'm, what I'm saying is that school is a great ground for you to learn and apply that in your workplace. How to develop those skills? Okay, imagine yourself now, right? What are you doing in school? Chatting, computer games, what else? Facebook, right? You should learn something, right? Next, go back, Miss Laura. 
Okay, social activities, hobbies, volunteer work, house chores, community work. Plus, you will not only learn in the four corners of your school, right? You need to go out, right? Learn something right now. Because in your job place, you go back to, you keep on working and working. We don't have any skills anymore. Okay, what skills do I have? Right, think of your skills now and invite it to your school, okay? So I will just flash it, flash it. I will not discuss it anymore. But assess yourself. Can you do it or you need to do it more? Look, <laughs> right? So this is the skills you have in class. Are you doing it? Maybe class presentation. Are you doing it or no? Okay, go on, next. I will not discuss it anymore, but look at the skills that needed here. Can you do that? Problem solving. Knowing how to learn. How do you ask questions? What's your responsibility? Okay. Creative learning. Okay. You may have many less. Give people skills class. This is very easy for you. But others, mind you, don't have any people skills. They cannot go get along with friends. They cannot meet new people. They cannot work on a team in class, right? And respect to the ideas of others. Basic, it's easy. But others don't have this skills. So you should have also personal skills. Say no, yes. Self-management, another one. How do you manage your time, right? How do you schedule your day? How do you submit your projects? Always late, okay? Next, technical skills. Doing PowerPoint, remember our class? Email, you should have, right? And let's go on to the world of work. Okay, it's important to understand what the workplace is. And each workplace is different. If you know more, you can make better choices for your future. Go on, miss. Okay, I have a question here before we end. Um, can I call someone? Right. Okay, now look at the picture there. Okay, do you think, right, you have you want this in your workplace? Um, I will call someone here. Yes, yes. Is it your ideal job? Good working, high salary, stability, job opportunities. Do you like that in your work? Of course, yes. Why? Oh, the want to be high salaries because they need to know Yes. Um, but also, the Google team environment is that they want to have a place to work, to have a better time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, thank you. So, of course, class, all of us are aiming to have those at the top, right? Right. Good working environment, right? You like it. High salary, stability, respected by many people, and job opportunities. That's why. We're looking for a good job, right? But last, before we go on with that, look at the bottom part of the thing, right? So we have interest, ability, and value job. So you should have that first before going at the top of the thing. What are those? What's your ability? Cultural, relationship, factors for career development and success. What's your ability, right? Interest, what do you love? Feeling comfortable? First factor when choosing a career. What's your personality? That's one we mentioned. You should you need understand and contribute to job success and satisfaction. And what are your value job? The thing that the pressure, pressure is precious and important to you while working in the career field. Okay? So it means that you need to prepare at the bottom first before you go on with your uh, uh, the top of your career. Right now. We're almost ending here. Okay, I hope you learned something, class. I know our time is very limited, right? I hope you learned something to prepare for your job, right? I want for someone to share something about the learning today. Um, can I call someone here? Can I call you? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm glad seeing you again, grade 12, because they were my former student last semester, right? So we had a great time in the class. So I would ask you, what did you learn? Don't wear a mask. If you learn something. Don't tell me don't learn something. Come here. Bye. 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 Bye.